What's up nerds, Tony here with a quick nerdy news update. Let's start with Streaming King Netflix. Did you watch Squid Game? I did and I loved it so I was super stoked to hear the creator is in talks for a season 2 and a season 3. By all accounts it's basically a done deal. Continuing with Netflix news, the Netflix Marvel collection, which includes the series Daredevil, Luke Cage, Jessica Jones, Iron Fist, The Defenders, and The Punisher, has been trending like crazy lately. This is likely due to the appearances of Charlie Cox as Matt Murdock in Spider-Man No Way Home and Vincent D'Onofrio reprising his role as Wilson Fisk, aka the Kingpin, on the Disney Plus series Hawkeye. This bodes well for the MCU going forward since rumors abound that there are plans to bring all these characters back into the fold sooner rather than later. Moving to more magnificent Marvel morsels, the series She-Hulk will be coming to Disney Plus soon and the rumor mill has been insistent that we will see Kristen Ritter's aforementioned Netflix hero Jessica Jones on the show. A very reputable leak source is now stating though that there are no plans for this, so don't get your hopes up. This same source says we will have a cameo from Doctor Strange compatriot Wong, as well as Matt Murdock. Speaking of Charlie Cox's Matt Murdock, the same leaker says the plan is for Murdock to appear in multiple Disney Plus projects, including the upcoming Moon Knight, Ironheart, and Armor Wars. It looks like Daredevil will be a big part of the MCU for the foreseeable future. Looking at some big screen MCU news, Bill Murray's role in Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania, is rumored to be the obscure, green-skinned scientist Krylar. In the comics, he appears in only one issue of The Incredible Hulk, but he is part of a microverse, which definitely ties into some of the themes of Quantumania. If this rumor is legit, Murray has an opportunity to bring a totally unknown character to life with his own unique comedic style. Elsewhere on the big screen, we are inching ever closer to Thor, Love and Thunder. First, rumors indicate we might see another appearance by Peter Dinklage's weapon master, Atri. Next, uh, here are some looks at Tessa Thompson's Valkyrie and some concept art of Natalie Portman's mighty Thor armor. Speaking of Tessa Thompson, it appears she may play a role in the Marvels alongside Carol Danvers, Kamala Khan, and Monica Rambeau. Quick note from the Sony side of Marvel, Morbius, the film about Spider-Man anti-hero Michael Morbius, the living vampire, starring Jared Leto in the titular role, has been pushed back from January 28th to April 1st. Quick pair of DC nuggets for you. According to those in the know, Dwayne The Rock Johnson's long-awaited Black Adam film is likely the beginning of a trilogy, assuming it performs well at the box office. No word on how it will tie into the rest of the DC film universe, as that particular corner of the nerd sphere is a notoriously steaming pile of confused cinematic nonsense. Also, there is a Legion of Superheroes animated series in the works at HBO Max with longtime comic creator Michael Bendis at the helm. Finally, Star Wars news. The Book of Boba Fett is tearing up the world of streaming and two casting rumors are making it an even hotter topic of conversation. First, Amelia Clark is rumored to be returning as Kira in the show as a vehicle for her very own Disney Plus series. Not terribly dissimilar to the way Boba Fett series and the upcoming Ahsoka series were launched from appearances on The Mandalorian. The other rumor is akin to the fan service friendly appearance of Luke Skywalker in The Mandalorian, and that is none other than Harrison Ford appearing in a de-aged cameo of Boba Fett's old nemesis, Han Solo. The two have a storied history in the Legends canon, we'll see if they bring that into the current canon as well. That's it from me today, nerds. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow us at We Them Nerds on social media. Be good, be good to each other. Later, nerds.